Hey guys, welcome to Edward's Why Adventure. In this video, I'll be doing a review on Kirkland's Merino Wool Socks. And let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Edward and my channel is all about backpacking photography and gear review and in this video I will be going over the specifications and talking about the pros and cons based on the comparison of the previous Kirkland Merino wool socks. You can purchase these at your local Costco store for $14.99 for four pairs of merino wool socks and this is the 2021 versions. The features are full cushion with durable reinforced heel and toes, moisture wicket and has the co fiber content of material of 57% merino wool, 40% nylon and 3% spandex. One of the selling points in this socks is actually the reprieve so what is reprieve so according to the website it is using a recycled materials to make the fiber material of the socks which means it can conserve resources and it is actually better for the environment one of the pros is about this socks is that it is still cheaper than other Marina wool socks brand that you see in the market and then the other pros is that it's also very environmental friendly and it's using sustainable materials the cons about this is that when I compare these two socks side by side this 2021 version is actually using less Marina wool material than the previous model it uses more of the line on and a little bit more on the spandex so that leads me to the second point that i want to mention is that when i fill these two side by side the near socks feels a lot thinner it feels like it's cutting about a third of the thickness of the material and it leads me to the third point which i want to talk about is that um, since it's a lot more thinner I'm guessing that this socks may wear out faster than the previous one because I have this socks for five years and because of the more materials on this socks it, it's thicker uh, it's still holding it strong in conclusion I think this socks may be worth buying if you're trying to replace some of your old socks that's been worn out or even any beginners who are just getting into the outdoor adventure such as hiking, backpacking, or any other outdoor activities. With that being said, this review is based on my opinion and I have not tested socks yet. I will definitely make another video of testing these socks and have worn these for a long term. So if any of you have these two socks and have more tested out already or more than out, leave the comments below of what you think and which one do you like better. And I hope this video is very helpful for you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Comment below what other video you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching and have a happy trail. Goodbye.